Salut, bonjour, and welcome back to Just Disc. If you're new here and you like informative quality disc golf content, make sure you subscribe, like this video if you end up liking it, and be sure to check out some of our other helpful videos. Now for today's video, I really wanna show you guys how I took my ball golf push cart and was able to turn it into a disc golf push cart. And hopefully with some of the tips from the trial and error that I've had, it can help you use a cart that you already have. So let's get into it. Now the golf push cart that we're gonna be adapting today for disc golf, specifically a disc golf bag, is the Click Gear 3.5. And this is an extremely popular, if not the most popular push cart for golf. And hopefully today with some of the tips that I give you, you're gonna be able to do the exact same thing. Now evidently, if you don't have a Click Gear push cart, this video is still gonna be very helpful to you. And that's because so many push carts are very similar. They all have the three wheels and they all have two spots where you clip in or you strap in your ball golf bag. But evidently for disc golf, that really doesn't work. Now, before I go into how to put this bag onto this push cart, let's talk about what you would really need to make this as smooth as possible. So obviously you need a push cart, you need a backpack, and you need some bungee cables. And you really only need two, four though would be ideal. Now as for the bag, I just wanna note that obviously you need a backpack, but you need to make sure that your straps are as tight as can be so that it's as snug as can be on the cart. But it's also really useful if you have one of these kind of middle clips for the sternum. Um, it really kind of brings everything together, keeps it nice and snug. It's not a necessity, but it definitely helps keep the bag balanced on the cart. Now the biggest issue with all of these ball golf push carts is that the bag really doesn't want to stay on there nice and snug. It always wants to move around and this kind of middle rod is usually a big reason for that. And Click Gear made a disc golf version of this cart. They kind of moved the rod a little bit more back. They changed how you can attach uh, you know your disc golf bag instead of obviously your ball golf bag and that's really all they've changed but once again i figured out a way to kind of avoid having to purchase that entirely new cart so to really create great stability so your bag doesn't move you really want to be attaching it in three places the top the middle and then the bottom and the bottom is definitely the most important so we're first gonna take the bag and we're gonna attach it to the top portion. So don't forget to take those straps that you have, right? Make sure they're tightened all the way to the max and you wanna put one on each side, okay? So I'm gonna do that here. I put the one, I then put the other. As you can see, it definitely doesn't wanna go on naturally. It's not meant for it, but this is kind of the first step one strap on each side. But we obviously need to lock in and kind of tighten this top portion of the bag. And the only way to really do that are with the straps that are provided with your push cart. Now again, every strap for every push cart is gonna be a little bit different. You may have a different mechanism. For the click gear, here's what I do. We have these bungee cords with this little attachment. We go through the middle, kind of the neck portion of the straps. You come out through the bottom, and then what you do is you pull and wrap them around the frame and then you attach them and as you can see this is way more snug on the top now that we've attached the straps in the top portion we're now going to attach the middle portion now i've already said this but some backpacks don't have this kind of sternum clip so if you don't it's not the end of the world but it does help create better stability so you make sure that it's as tight as possible, you take those two clips, you attach them, and now the bag is pretty stable. But the big problem that I found when trying to get this to work is the bottom is the most important. You really need to create a stable base with these straps because that's what's just gonna keep it staying tight, not moving. So you need your bungee cords. Again, link in the description. You're gonna have different sizes and this is gonna be done different ways depending on your bag and depending on your cart, etc. But for the click gear, I hook it up right here to this tightening clip. And then with the bungee cords that I have, I bring it around the back and I attach it to this little piece of plastic here, little uh, portion of the cart. We do the other one come around the back, attach it to this piece of plastic, and there you go, nice and snug. So top, middle, and bottom, beautifully stabilized, ready to go. 
Now, one other thing that you can do to really add a little bit more stability, especially for the top, because the top can sometimes be difficult to get right, is take two more bungee cords and find areas on your bag that can attach to the cart as well. So with this Superhero Pack 2, which I did a review on, you can check the video out right here. Uh, it has these clips on both sides, really pretty much for a towel. And what you can do is you can bring from one side to the other on the click gear cart, there's this little kind of two little attachments for the little pouch here. You can attach one on one side and then one on the other. Now, all this is really doing is just adding another level of stability. Well, there you have it guys. With a bit of trial and error, a bit of patience, and a few bungee cords, you can get your ball golf push cart and use it for a disc golf push cart. It works. It's not ideal, I know. If you have the extra cash, obviously go out and buy what you need. But if you already have a ball golf push cart, definitely use it, it comes in handy. Good luck out there. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next one. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt.